Never forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yes, Victoria, you still have huh. to This might make a cool shot. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the villain? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye, and everybody should oh, have that totally. chance. Oh, totally. I only right? want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best Plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. I was about to. Yeah, you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. 
Then I might send you a special picture. Tag. I'm not paying $150 for Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point? She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Everybody see inside to my locker. All of you, American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American These missing girls, persons posters are popping like up everywhere. Be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the bright side yeah. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. To all of you, American girls in the movies, no one can Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate Bully Jockstrap with like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Talking about her own place Somewhere around the mountain They should just call it a sugar mission. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. That's when I fly Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess these days. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap?
Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hope. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her Keep it together, of Max. Faces. You feel like totally wow, sir, My old broken camera. When exploring. I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max <laughs> has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? <coughs> I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Little after class. A French and I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again? 
brought out, fine de- brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to Gary o- The first American to- Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. (sighs) The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of Evan. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even... Photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Anybody want to carry around a dorky instrument? You know I don't tease. I hate that science class. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the Butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Ever. I'm too scared to get near this I'm psycho. So sick of people trying to control me. You no, he has a gun. Trouble for I should do something you. else. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Max, oh. holy shit! I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Lisa. Yes, would they? Get no, he has a gun. I should do something oh. else. Shit! No. No, 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 I need no. a hammer to break it open. Max, don't fuck around. Rewind. Ever even I need a hammer to break it open. I need a hammer to break it open. Oh. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying... 
Nobody! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use them. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion Later, in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason, and I have to find out why. I bet the Blackwell founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones.
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Bring it, brah. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Samuel? Well, hello there. Awesome. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Uh, only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus Sweet. look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Nice, bro. Like a clock. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. No. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. Nice. After I sweep, I paint. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Dude. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Just... Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Nice, bro. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria... I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Yeah. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve?
Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? No. Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Do you understand English? Get lost. Do you understand English? Get lost. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Nice, bro. I could crank the sprinkler Victoria and her clones attempt to beat it. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. There's only one way around this. Do you understand English? Get lost. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! None shall pass. Capiche? Okay. None shall pass. She looks like a pissed off Capiche? wet cat, and she's still stylish.
There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell away. Let's see if this works. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with matches. Okay. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Dude. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm no. going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon.
Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. This is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. No, I've watched. So stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Ridiculous. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According you to Victoria, know, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria, huh? She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. 